Thanks for your interest in Quest GPO Admin, your go-to system for tackling challenges in GPO governance and administration. I'm Matthew Vinton, Senior Systems Consultant at Quest, and today I'm going to take you on a short tour of GPO Admin. In a recent video, we demonstrated how we can use the new GPO Admin GPO Merge capability to take the settings from two different policies and merge them into a brand new policy. But now we're left with a challenge. What we need to do is we need to take this new policy and apply it everywhere where these two policies were already deployed. Doing this manually could be a little bit challenging. The traditional manual method would be to run a report find all the link locations where it's linked to, and then go and manually edit those link locations, um, remove the existing policy link and add the new policy link. We make this really simple with GPO Admin using the GPO Admin search and replace feature. In order to use that, we'll right click on the policy that we want to replace with another all across our environment. We'll then click search and replace. And this gives us three options. We can either append the policy everywhere where that's linked. That would be if we wanted to take the new Titan Corp browser policy and put it alongside of the existing policy everywhere where that policy exists. We can replace all the existing links with a new group policy object. That would be if we want to unlink the Titan Corp Chrome policy and link the new Titan Corp browser policy or we can simply look for anywhere where the Titan Corp Chrome policy is linked and remove all those links. In this particular case, because we know that the Titan Corp browser policy contains all the settings from the Titan Corp Chrome policy, we're gonna use the replace function. We click next. And now we're going to select our new group policy object We click next, and now the system is going to evaluate the environment and find all the, the links and the links that, that are going to be changed. So you can see it's proposing a change to this container. It's going to remove the Titan Corp Chrome policy, and it's going to add the Titan Corp browser policy. And it, in more complex situations, it, of course, will have each container where these policies are linked and show you what it's planning to do for each of those. In this particular case, we're only linking to the root of the domain. When we click Finish, the system is going to um, make that change. However, it's not going to immediately go out and replace those. What it's going to do is it's going to put those, it's going to make the change to the container and put that in an approval status. So we can actually see that. Here. And of course, the appropriate people would be getting email at this point in time saying, hey, there is a pending approval for an edit. Do you wish to approve it? Once that's been approved, then it can be deployed, in which case the actual change will be made against any of the containers within the environment. So that's the quick tour. Click on any of the GPO admin product links on this page to learn more.